Well, hi, Misty Frog Acres peoples. I have hurt my back, so I am laying on a pile of laundry, as you can see. And uh, I've decided to start doing the research on my electric vehicle conversion of the tractor. Um, and parts are starting to arrive, and I have no idea what I'm doing, so this should be interesting. Right now, I'm trying to figure out peak amperage versus continuous amperage and blah 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 stuff that I don't, just don't simply don't understand but I'm gonna convert my tractor into electric anyway because it's that important to the world so. so consider this your intro to that project it is uh we are in uh December now and I'm just out in the shop this morning um I'm getting pretty excited because as some of you might know or might be following um, my GoFundMe that I want to try and do about converting this engine into an electric and therefore finding out if I can do it to all three of my power kings. I just started getting some of the parts in. Right here we got the motor. It's an ME 1003 and I had to have a guy custom make uh, this sleeve here it's like this and it's a step key um, sleeve so that I can go from seven eighths to inch and an eighth in the clutch flywheel here so basically the shaft is seven eighths but we put that sleeve on with the step key and then this guy fits right on top that's the 1975 clutch flywheel and uh, <laughs> with some new uh, clutch fingers on it. And we're about to uh, start putting this thing together. I'm just waiting for some parts to come in the mail and I've uh, that's where I'm at. But right now, what I'm about to do is weld this guy up here. And that's just a simple motor mount bracket so that I can mount the motor to it. So I'm gonna do that. All right, so here's the mounting plate. And I've got the uh, layout of the bolts for the hogshead that attaches to that. Um, and then here's the welded part that I just got done with, motor mount. So now I'm just gonna do some measurements and then these two are gonna go together or something like that. But I've got to get, I got to just double check a couple things real quick first. All right. So here's the finished prototype motor mount. The welds are starting to get better slowly with life, but this guy is very sturdy. It's got a one inch overlap and uh, heavy duty rebar there on the, or not rebar, excuse me, heavy duty angle iron on the front. And then I have some lighter weight stuff just for support and bracing where it bolts down to the motor or to the frame but yeah this is going to hold that motor up just fine inside of the tractor i'm out here getting ready to work on the ev project step one um uh, the shop has been reorganized so that's a good step one i got a clear table back there the tractor's ready the oil's drained um i decided i'm going to do big orange first instead of goblin back there because um i can't really afford to be without Goblin at this time. So if something goes wrong with the EV build, I need to be able to still jump on the tractor and go do stuff. So that's my plan. I'm just gonna move uh, one eye out of here, go park him under the carport um, and get ready to start taking the tin off. And uh, that's my plan here this afternoon and we'll see how far I get. All right, let's check it out.
All right, well, as you can see, I got all the tin off. Um, we've got, we're ready to go. All I gotta do is bring the hoist down, pull the engine. There we have it. The motor, the engine is off. Look at all this space. This piece here, all of this head, this exhaust, all of it. This big front piece, all this space is gonna be regained and turned into battery space. We just have to figure out exactly what that looks like by reassembling it. So that's gonna be what I do next. All right, so I'm gonna take the motor off. I'm gonna set it down on the uh, rack, roll it out of the way. I'm gonna bring in the EV motor. I'm gonna set it down and see if it fits. So let's see if my fabrication was uh, good. I have a slight concern that it may not be good because uh, I measured it off Goblin and on my initial look now, I think I might be like a half inch off. So I guess I'm gonna find out and if it is, oh well, I guess I gotta fix it. Awesome. Looks pretty good to me. Whoop. There it is. My motor mount, my motor are on. Very excited about that. Okay, here we go. about as unsuccessful as you can get. Right here, <laughs> as you can see, I'm about uh, maybe more than a half inch, probably almost an inch off. Um, I measured off of Goblin and the transmission may have settled a little bit, but it's not going to be that much. It'll flex by a quarter inch max, more like an eighth probably. But anyway, this motor where I welded this plate, I think I it, welded it too high. So I've got a good solid inch to drop down here, which is good news. So I think I am going to do that. Fun. The question is, is that a today project? Ah, that's always the question. Yes, it's a today project. Look how cool it looks though. Thing is freaking cool. It's gonna be even cooler when it's uh, all mounted up right. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off the clutch housing and bolt it on direct. And then I'm going to unweld this, take this motor off, unweld that, reposition all this stuff and then re tack weld it on and that's my current plan first time fabricating of an electric motor and it is without if it was without some kind of difficulty i would be shocked so anyway really pumped i've already raised two thousand bucks for the next part of this project, just making sure that it, it'll drive the tractors. <laughs> so anyways, I'm really excited. This project is going really well and I can't do it without the awesome people who are supporting people like me trying to do stuff like this, trying to figure stuff out. Um, there's a lot of smart people in the world. There's a lot of clever people in the world and I'm uh, neither. <laughs> no, I'm somewhere in between. So anyways, uh, let's, let's put this in time lapse to get this done, shall we?
so now I'm going to just do a build in place. I uh, disassembled basically everything I'd done already. And now I'm just going to do a in place build. And it goes this way. Just get it straight on there. Oh yeah, that guy is nice and tight. That's gonna be way better fit this way. Only thing with the pandemic is I sure wish I could have friends come over sometimes and help with projects like this. This is a softball mounted to a piece of rattan. And normally you would not put this on and tighten it down because you actually have to have the clutch and the whole motor mounted up all together before you do that. So, um, that's just the way that the power kings go together. So I'm just doing this strictly to make sure it all mounts together and welds up properly. And I'll take these two bolts off as soon as I get done with my tack welds to my plate that I'm gonna mount. Probably should have mounted it on here before I did this. Oh well. I have some friends who are mechanics, so probably, and fabricators. I'm really a novice at all of the stuff in the shop. Even though I've been working on these tractors for six years, I probably know more about these tractors than most people, but coming up with good ways to fabricate and stuff. That's also been what I've been doing for the last six years, but it's usually pretty. I mean, I really just started welding last year. Now, I'm gonna take this plate, bracket I should say, Seems like that's the best situation, but I don't think the motor is gonna allow that clearance. Let's see. Oh, maybe it will. Oh yeah, it will. Oh yeah, there's room, lots of room. Sweet. That is freaking awesome news. All right, well, I'm just gonna weld, uh, weld this up and uh, probably unbolt it, rebolt it on with the motor and make sure it all comes together this time. So uh, I got about a few minutes of welding to do, but otherwise I'm in pretty good shape right now. I just have a couple bolts to unloosen, reloosen, and then I can uh, remount the bracket. Mm -hmm. 